In truth, we don't really feel it much. But there is no moment that the sun shines down on this earth that for the light that it gives, everything isn't made new again. We don't much feel it. We barely see it at all. But the fact of the matter is, there is absolutely no point in time where something timeless isn't renewing every creation. We know nothing of that life, even though we live in the light that's actually giving us our own life. Now, that everything is new and always new, always beginning again. It flies directly in the face of our experience. And our experience, to just touch on what I did the last meeting, is that our experience of life is derived through what we called a mechanical reaction to an expectation. Our experience is derived from a mechanical reaction to an expectation. I expect what I expect. Everybody here, basically, along certain social lines, expects the same things. But by and large, I expect certain things to happen. I expect to look a certain way. I expect to carry myself a certain way. I expect you to respect the bounds of whatever we call our honesty is and all the rest of that. And if you don't respect my expectations, what happens to me? Uh-oh. I get negative. Instantaneously negative because I am reacting to, now listen, what I think is what you've done. What I am reacting to is my own expectation momentarily crushed and not just crushed, but my identity washed away in that wave of negativity. Everybody still with me? Then we went on to say, and very much part of what we need to look at today, that this means that I live from an unseen body of expectations. That if I'm not actually pursuing an expectation, I'm avoiding something I fearfully expect might happen. That's what self-protection is. False self-protection, psychological self-protection. Imagining a time when I will lose what I expect I need to be a whole and happy human being. And it's gone, and with it goes me. This means, please, that the, the, my experience, save tiny moments, is really me meeting moments that challenge a body of the past, a conditioned nature, so that this conditioned nature is what is interacting with life, and it can never be new. It can never have a new reaction which means it can never know what something is in its own essence. It never knows the beginning of anything. It only knows the continuity of a nature that exists to fight with what life shows. 